Yes, I'm back. So I've taken a look at our code and uh, actually I run this with the const expert thing. I see that now the time has shifted to 2 minute 50. So 2 minute 50, that's 170 seconds. seconds. So that means by using const expert in the one function that was one of the big fishes, which was calc energy. I already reduced that by 25% approximately. Let's use a lighter. That's, that looks neat, I think. So 25%, that's approximately here. So I got it down just by knowing literature. Now that you should always use a that you should use a const expert and that it exists. So that's not still not very interesting because it's well, I just made it 20% faster. Who cares? I'm mostly interested in the uh, linearity in the shape right and also when I use the const expert now my profile has become very clearly uh, indicating that choose resource is the only big fish left um, you say hey where 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 is it is the was the original thing get energy not called anymore yes it is um, calc energy let's see if we can find it no we can't find it anymore there, so it's it has left the list. All right, well that's a so apparently we did a good speed up there. All right, choose resource is definitely uh, the big fish now left. So let's take a look at choose resource. So if you take a look at the function, it's too long. Yeah, you should not write this long functions. And what I've decided to do is remove, like dumbly cut it to pieces without knowing what I'm actually doing. Right? Um, so how am I going to do that? Well, I let the compiler help me. So for example, here we have this shuffle thing. Here we have a for loop. Um, this is to do something, do something on all population members. I have no idea what it's doing. I'm going to do the I'm going to call this choose resource um, members. I have no idea. Um, choose resource members. You have a for, of, a for loop. Hope even more clear. For loop. I'm going to use that function name there. And within the function, I'm going to just ruthlessly copy paste this stuff. So I think it's up until here. There it is. That's that appears to be it. Add it there. Go to unindent. And I have no idea what it should do. I just know that I need to call it. At the space I indicated. And um, because I don't know what, uh, I let the compiler help me. The compiler say hey, population is not declared in the scope. All right, well, we can do that. So we need a population. Population. Probably this thing had a population. Yet yeah, there she is. Let's add it. What does our friend need more? Sum. What is that sum? So sum is a vector. All right, so it needs a sum. And probably by reference, I think this this feels like a bad idea that this for loop not only does something on all individuals but also is summing at the same time. I think bad idea. Like, like just do everything first and then do your sum. Temp sum. I don't know how the hell? Wow, what's a temp sum? Right, temp sum. Let's put it there as well. I don't know why would you, yeah, why would you use a temporary thing? But then um, uh, that can be as local as possible. Indiv not declared. So what is that? Indiv. Indiv. Let's take a look at the indivs. Ah, there is an indiv. No idea again what it is, but uh, just need to get it to compile. 
that now you have choose resource for loop oh yeah now it says right you need to add some temp sum in div some oh wait no we need to add population some temp sum So uh, I've just so what is the qu so so I don't care about this speed. I just simplified the function a bit uh, to be able to separate between, for example, shuffle and what happens in this for loop. This appears to be linear. Yeah, the linear. This linear. So, so, so these are not candidates at all. So either the shuffle is the bottleneck or choose resource for loop. So it runs. So that means I can now send it to Travis again. I don't know what my N is. So I'm going to start with the big N again. 3200. Git add. Git commit. Extracted function from big fish function. N equals 3200 push. Now we're going to do 1600 again. And we're going to do 800 again. I think lower has no use anymore. Well, let's, let's do 400 because we, we, we started using the 400. Four hundred. So all these builds will start in more or less, will finish hopefully in more or less the same time. So this thing is already running. We expect that one to take through two hundred to take four minutes. My 1600. I want my 1600 back. 1600. And 1600. I forgot to push probably. And now I expect to have my full series running. So let me get this thing started. 3200, 800, 400, 1600. This will take 3 minutes. 400 will take one minute so this will be the first to finish and perhaps it can already show us a bit where the which part of the big calc energy function what is it choose resource it's a is, is the bottleneck well it's busy 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 so let's take a look at the function just to kill the time a bit so where's the magic part Choose, choose resource, choose resource for loop. So I I added this. No idea what it does. No idea what this does. If I take a look within the for loop, then well, this clearly is linear. There's no for loop. There's here a for loop as well. For this this is a nonlinear part because for each individual from the from the for loop for, for each member of the population it goes over all the energies so that's linear but again then it goes over all the individuals again so I expect that this thing is exponential Alright, so I think I'm going to cut that one out uh, already because uh, I have no. Uh, yeah, why should I wait? So I'm going to call it a for loop else. Choose resource for loop else because I have no idea what it does. Else. And I'm going to. 
to put that here for it. Also, no idea what it does. Just to be clear, just to be clear that I'm not om 